To install the eSign Services app in Salesforce, you'll need a Salesforce account. You'll also need a global eSign Services account, but if you don't already have one, you'll be able to sign up as you go through the installation process. So I've signed into my Salesforce account, and first I go to the App Exchange by clicking here. This takes me to appexchange.salesforce.com. Then I just search for the eSign Services app, and here it is. I just click on it and then I click get it now. If I haven't already logged into the app exchange, it'll ask me to log in with my Salesforce credentials. So I click this button and then click install in production. I'm going to check this box to agree to the terms and conditions and then click confirm and install. Then I enter my login information again if necessary. And here we recommend that you choose install for all users, which will give both administrator and user privileges because you can always remove rights at a later time from the account. Then click install, check this box and click continue. So this message is standard. I just ignore it and click done. Now the package is installing and it will take maybe two to three minutes or sometimes longer. So just wait here and refresh this page in the browser until you see that the package has been installed. I'm just right clicking and choosing reload to refresh the page. And here it is, it's been installed. So now I'm going to go over to the eSign services page by choosing Adobe Document Cloud from this dropdown and then clicking on eSign services admin. Because I already have an eSign Services account, I'm going to click on Sign In to Adobe. But if you don't have an account, at this point you can sign up for a free trial before proceeding to the next step. Then I log in with my account information, then click Allow Access, and then click Next. Now on this page, I'm going to click on each link, then click Save. And once the saving is complete, I close the window. I do the same for the other IP range. Just click on the link, click save. And when it's done saving, close the window. Now both IP ranges are enabled and I can click next. Now I'm going to enter my Salesforce login information again to enable automatic status updates. Then click save. And now the updates have been enabled and I can click next. And that's it. Setup is now complete and I can go ahead and start creating new agreements by clicking on this link.